Last night, the country was jolted by a shocking act of violence targeting the home of Commissioner of Police Chester Williams. The unprecedented attack unfolded around 9.20, only a few hours after a state of emergency was declared in the Belize and Kyle district, and 94 alleged gang members were rounded up. The gunshots rang out while Williams was heading to an international event in New York and his 22-year-old son was home alone. I was on a flight from Houston to, to New York and uh, very unusually I, I happened to, to purchase Wi-Fi on the plane. So I had um, data throughout my flight and just about an hour before landing in New York, I... I got a call from my son who was at home. Um, but the, the data that the, the, you purchase on plane do not allow you for voice calls. You can only text. So I, I could not have answered his calls. So I messaged him and said to him, I'm in flight. Can I text? And he texted me quickly and said that um, shots were being fired at the house. I right away forwarded the message to the Belapan police station and asked them to have the police respond immediately. And I directed my son not to come out to stay inside the house, um, secured until the police would um, arrive there. The four attackers arrived on motorcycles, swiftly executing their attack with a prohibited firearm and prompting a swift response from the police. William says investigators have since detained the resident of Camelota village and are searching for three others. They examined the house and uh, reviewed the surveillance camera system that they have at home. And they were able to obtain some very useful information from the camera system. Um, subsequent to that, the police um, mobilized more and uh, conducted interviews and uh, operations. And quickly, they were able to apprehend a suspect along with the firearm, which we believe to have been used in the incident. Um, the firearm is a 45 caliber pistol that has been packaged and will be sent to the National Forensic Service Ballistic Section for examination to, come, to be compared with the shells that are found at the scene. The brazen attack follows the shooting of a police station in Ruin Creek, where the suspected shooter has gang ties. I know that he has been in trouble with the law before, um, charged with different offenses, and uh, we are looking at um, him very closely to see who are his close associates. We have a person of interest that we're looking at likewise, who we know is a very close associate of him and uh, may be the person who, mot who had motivated him to go and carry out the sack. I am sure that whoever, that this individual knew I was not at home because they might have heard on the news that I was leaving the country yesterday following the, um, the operations mm -hmm. with the SOE. And so they took the opportunity, believing that I was, knowing that I was not at home, to have done this. The incident has sparked widespread concern leaving citizens questioning their safety and security measures. But what motivated this senseless act of gun violence on the country's top cop? William says he isn't sure, but he remains unfazed and determined to bring the criminals to justice. I guess someone just wants to send a statement if they think that I am going to be perturbed or intimidated by their action, then they have the wrong man. Um, certainly, as the commissioner of police, I have a mandate. And uh, my mandate to the Belizean people is clear, which is to do all I can within my power to make sure that our people are safe. So they can come and shoot a million times. That will not distract me from doing what I need to do. But what I can say to them is that they will be pursued no matter where they go. They will be caught and they will be dealt with. It is something that I take very seriously and uh, we will act decisively in making sure that the perpetrators of this and other incidents are brought to justice. Never before has the Home of Commissioner been targeted in such a manner, underscoring the country's evolving security challenges. However, Williams says it is also a stark reminder that the police need to crack down and go hard on criminals. Our mandate is to the Belizean people to enforce the law, to find perpetrators of crime, and bring them to justice. So I will say to those lawless people in the West, you spread your bed, you sleep on it. 
That's what my grandmother used to tell us. So they must expect what is going to come to them because we're not going to back down. We're not going to be distracted. We will press forward and will do so hard. They need to get the sense. Enough is enough. Despite the gravity of the situation, there has been no official comment from Kari Musa, the Minister of Home Affairs, leaving citizens questioning the government's response and strategy in addressing such threats to public safety. Vijay Alvarez, Love News.